Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are probably wondering what the hell I am wearing, but as you can see from the title of today's video, I decided to DIY a Sophia Nygaard outfit. Sophia Nygaard is an amazing YouTuber. Uh, she has like six and a half million subscribers, so she's like a pretty big YouTuber. She has a lot of like ugly outfit videos. She does a lot of like Frankenstein makeup videos. Her channel is really great and I suggest you check it out if you haven't seen her videos. But I decided to DIY a Sophia Nygaard outfit. I have this damn tutu on my arm because I decided to use this shirt here which is a shirt from ASOS that she did a video on. It's like a band t-shirt with a tool ruffle. Now I wanted to do this as easily and cheaply as possible so I wasn't able to find a um, kind of metal band looking t-shirt at any of the thrift stores I went to so I ended up just using a plain black t-shirt and this is just a <clears throat> like child's tutu I found at Value Village and I took out some of the tool to make it like less puffy and I trimmed it so it's shorter, which you'll see when I do like the full body shots. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but I mean, you get the idea of the shirt that I'm going for. And next, of course, I had to make these pants here. Um, they were like $500 pants, I think, but basically it's like three pant legs connected together. So I went to Valley Village and I bought some pants that were pretty cheap and I just kind of cut off the legs and stitched them all together. So I'm going to try and show you here. We have like a pair of jeans at the top and then <clears throat> the one leg ends here and then there's a second, it's not a full leg, it's just like the bottom half of the leg and then we have a third one. So, I don't know if these are nearly as long as the original ones, but I just kind of tried my best with what I had available to me, and basically I just wanted to make the extra long pants. How I did this, I will insert some clips of me creating the pants, but basically I laid them out and I measured the leg length of where I wanted to cut them, cut off all the legs of the jeans, and ripped open the one seam on all of them. And then I took the base pair of pants, like the ones that I'm actually going to be at the top of my jeans, and I just tore open one seam, like halfway up the leg, so I could open it up and pin the other leg inside of it. And then I just kind of stitched everything together with a straight stitch and then a zigzag stitch. It's not perfect. It's a little messy. I'm not a great sewer. Basically, I'm going to wear the two pieces together, show you guys what those look like, and then I'm going to try and style them separately and see if I can come up with some sort of outfit that is somewhat wearable. Without further ado, let's just get right into the try-ons. Alright guys, so this is the shirt and the extra long pants. You get the point. So the pants, I just kind of rolled them up, like bunched them up around my ankle so they're not as long. Um, so this is what the outfit looks like together. Alright, so that is them unrolled or unbunched. They basically like go pretty far past my legs. Like it's hard to lay them all the way out. Like you cannot just like walk down the street wearing these. Alright, so now let's try to style them separately and see if I can come up with anything remotely cute. Alright, so here is the outfit I came up with quickly for the pants. Basically I put on this little like floral jacket. I just have a plain black t-shirt that's like tucked in. I paired it with these like open-toed little booties. There's like a ton of bunching at the ankle so I kind of wanted to elongate the leg with like the open toe hopefully. I actually don't hate these jeans. Overall, when they're bunched up, they're like not terrible. Basically, I decided to pair the tutu top with just like 
black skinny jeans and then these like black boots. Um, and then I also paired it with this little holographic clear bag that I got from Wish. Um, basically I figured like if I'm going to wear a tutu shirt I may as well just go a little bit crazy. This one like I don't know where I'd wear it but like it doesn't look horrible to me. But I think the pants looked a lot better in the outfit I made. But I mean overall I think you could technically wear both of them. You just really couldn't make the pants function unfurled. <laughs> Alright guys so that's it for my DIY Sophia Nygaard outfit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of the outfits were even somewhat wearable to you or even if you like the originals like would you actually wear this tutu top or the extra long jeans. Um, comment down below and let me know because I'm honestly really curious. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button down below before you leave and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.